everyone. Uh, this is the update of my Necromancer build. So my skill tree is more or less the same. Uh, I'm still using Blight, Blood Mist, except I took two points from here, just to test, but if you want this, a corpse, you can put two points there. Corpse Explosion is still the main attack. Skeletal Warrior Mastery, Grim Harvest, Filled by Death. Uh, this is something that I added. It's okay. I, I didn't feel much with that. Uh, Decrypify with the... Um, whenever you're, you're, you hit, the cooldowns reduce because then your blood mist is always off cooldown. Skeletal Mage Mastery, also Skeletal Warrior Mastery. Uh, Necrotic Carapace is really good. It combos really well with the Reaper Minions. Uh, I'm not using Corpse Sendrils. Uh, but you could replace the Corpifile Corpse Sendrils to have more vulnerability. Reaper's Pursuit, I really value movement speed, especially in Hardcore. So I have three ranks in there and they stun. I took away from the damage, I was just not needing it. Three uh, ranks in Golem Mastery and all the skeleton stuff except the healing. And I changed to, uh, to be uh, the attack speed, key passive. My Paragon Tree, I changed this glyph to be the Skeletal Mage damage glyph. And then, I, my board is the minion board, and I have picked every minion damage node I can. So, same for my Skeletal Warriors, all, all the minion do damage nodes. The, the armor and life, I, I didn't find it necessary to get without the damage ones. So I'm literally one Paragon point away from unlocking this uh, willpower node and doubling the amount of my skeletal mages do damage. Uh, this node here, um, I kind of need to organize. I have like some random points assigned because I thought it was really important to, to get the bonus damage from the stats from those nodes because that has changed the build to, to, to be much better. So I basically just rush to the golem and start damage and, and I just put some points. I will replace uh, everything correctly and all this when I have enough paragon points, but I just don't have right now. But you don't even need a golem board. If you just got to tier 4, make sure you feel the minion board and your minions are gonna, are gonna be really strong like this. Oh, also, the other glyph that I'm using is the minion attack speed um, and damage glyph. My items, uh, now I'm using armor percent, I'm looking for armor percent. The resistances are kind of bugged, but I still find that it's better than nothing. And when they fix it, it's bonus. So armor percent and life. I'm also looking for summoning skill damage percent, if I can get that. I'm still using the same Unique Gloves and the same Unique Sight. I, I found new newer versions of it. I did have to go a while when I got to tier 4. I, 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 ha I found a random weapon that did more damage than my previous one. And then I used that for a bit and then I, when I found this, uh, I put it back. Uh, the Gloves, basically movement speed and resistances. My, my pants with Corpse Explosion. Maximum life, total armor, and minion life. My prints are Estra Skeletal Warriors. Uh, whenever you damage an, an elite, you get a barrier. It's very important. Uh, this one, I don't have any print because it's a unique item. This imprint of the pants is one of the most important imprints because it gives me armor based on the damage that I do. So when I'm attacking, my armor easily goes to over 8,000 armor, and I have almost 9,000 health. So I'm not only, I'm very tanky, but we also do, we're very effective at killing things. And, okay, here we go, now we just finish him up. Easy, high five! Or should I say... <clears throat> My rings, uh, life, damage is done, vulnerable enemies, load enemies, uh, also Maximum life, I really love that. My amulet, I, I think this amulet is like almost perfect. You should always, if you're using a build like this, you should definitely use uh, something similar. Three troll corpse skills, 21% to summon, summoning skill damage and 
and 21% Shuminian tax pay. My book of the dead, uh, the reapers are a must because they combo really well of corpse explosion and they also give you fortify. Uh, the, uh, the skeletal mages with cold and the one that gives essence, it's especially important if you have the zinc print that every 10 seconds your skeletal mages, they deal damage with the blizzard. And if you have the sight, uh, you get extra resource and mana um, from the enemies that you hit. But even without the sight, the, skele the skeletal mages should give you enough essence back to, to, to make everything viable. So you don't need any of the unique items, but they do help. Uh, here is this, the, my, some, my minions, they get extra attack speed. And also, the longer that my minions are alive, the, the more damage they do. And three is three skeletal mages, because my skeletal mages, they do a lot of damage via blizzard and, and via like my glyphs. So everything works out. The golems, I prefer the blood golem. If I wasn't playing hardcore, I would probably go with the iron golem that uh, applies vulnerability. Or, but the bone golem that taunts is also an option. So that's basically the update of the beauty. Pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy and have fun.